Hi. Good morning. It's me again. I wanted to show a Fresnel lens <coughs> working. So, it's early in the morning. You can see it. It's really bright. Here's the lens. It's a big one. So, the sun isn't in the highest point yet, so this ain't going to be very hot. But, and I apologize if I'm nasally but I am nasally so the reason for showing you that is because there's a source of free Fresnel lenses they're not actually Fresnel lenses that I know of whoops but I picked this little gem up for free yesterday here it is <clears throat> Now, the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of videos that talk about getting a uh, solar lens from a projection TV, they don't actually show you or go over the dangers of them. For those of you who are not knowledgeable on high voltage, there's a bunch of stuff in the back of one. Okay? All in there. The back panel's off. These first two, three things here, there's one, two, three. Those tubes are dangerous. If you do not know how to discharge high voltage tubes, CRT tubes, don't take the back off. Don't even mess with it, because that can kill you. Now, it's good practice that since I don't know how long this thing's been sitting outside, when its last use was, to discharge everything, which I will do when I'm done making this video. But what we're focused on is the front. Now, I'm working on popping this bad boy off. So I'll get my finger in the way. See? Let's go along. Pop it off, like so. I'm going to set the camera down so you can see kind of what's going on here. There's a front. There's a front clear piece, which is this. It's just a front. On the back, we have our lens, which I'll show you in the sunlight, I hope. This is our lens. You might even be able to see there's a focal point. Oh crap, if I don't put the camera. Duh. There's a focal point right here. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but this is the lens that we want. Now, you can see there's screws. You want to keep these screws. Reason being, because they look like this. You've got a head on them. They're made for wood or plastic. Keep these because this is what you're going to secure the lens to the frame with, which is what I'm going to show you. Now, in an earlier video, hey, look, another solar mirror. You get a mirror out of this sucker, too. So, and each individual little lens on these heads is also useful for starting fires or whatever. It can be used as a survival mirror if you're in a situation where you need to start one and you don't have patches. Or, if you're like me, you're going to do a bunch of dorky uh, optical experiments. So, 
this whole thing here is a mirror. You gotta be very careful. You know, it's got mounts and screws, and uh, this thing's rockety. So I'm hoping the wind doesn't take it and blow it over. But on that note, you also get speakers. And you take the back of the speaker off, and inside is a little magnet. You grind down these uh, rivets, and you can pop this off. So you get two speakers, two magnets, a nice big solar mirror, which I'm going to show you something interesting with that today, and you get a Fresnel lens. The lens I showed you just a minute ago gets up to about 900 degrees that I have seen and uh, it'll cut the living crap out of wood and everything. So, disclaimer, while I am showing you how to get these lenses, be very safe. Do not leave them out in direct sunlight. And, you know, be safe with it. Don't put your brother's hand underneath of it or your, or your sibling's hand. Don't put your friend's hand under it because it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt bad. So, don't get in there. Any flammable liquids, this video is for informational purposes only. In no way do I sub or am I suggesting that you go out and actually build one of these. So if you hurt yourself, do not call me liable. <clears throat> if you hurt yourself with the high voltage because you think, oh, it can't be that bad, you know, it's the current that kills, not the voltage. Well, that's another disclaimer. Don't do that. If you don't know what you're doing, stay away. So. You know, this is some backyard engineering. That's what it is. I literally found this on the side of the road for junk. A good way to check these, or to find these, is check Craigslist in the free section because people throw this kind of crap out all the time. Nobody wants these things. But you do. You do. Because I got three of these bad boys so far, and I've made three different lenses. So, I'll show you how to make the lens out of a 2x2 frame in another video. But for now, just please be careful with it. But this is a source of using the sun's energy. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.